Still on trigonometry, but this time around, we'll talk about compound angle identities. Watch the video to the end and see the identities for the sine, cosine, and tangent of a sum and of a difference. What is sine A plus B? A plus B is a sum, and here we have the sine of a sum. The identity says sine A plus B is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Sine A minus B is sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. Cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. Cos A minus B is cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Tan A plus B is tan A plus tan B all divided by 1 minus tan A times tan B. Tan A minus B is equal to tan A minus tan B all divided by 1 plus tan A tan B. If cos A is equal to 3 over 5 and sin B is equal to 4 over 5, you are asked to find cos A plus B, cos A minus B, sin A plus B, sin A minus B, tan A plus B, tan A minus B. Now, before we can solve these questions completely, we need the ratio for sine A and tan A. We also need the ratio for cos B and tan B. So, let's get them first. Just watch how I'm going to get the other ratios, okay? Cos A is 3 over 5. Okay, so I can either place my A here or there. Let me use here. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. If this is where my A is, this is the opposite automatically. And this is the word adjacent. This is always the hypotenuse. So my adjacent is 3, hypotenuse is 5. This is 3, and this is what? 5. Okay, so I need to get this opposite. Well, if I use Pythagoras rule, I'm going to get 4 there. Is a Pythagorean triple. 3 squared plus 4 squared will give me 5 squared. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of these other two sides. 4 squared is 16. 3 squared is 9. 5 squared is 25. 16 plus 9 will give me 25. So here is 4. Okay? We already have cos A as 3 over 5. So let's look for sine A and tan A. Sine A is, by Sokatoa, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite hypotenuse, that's what? 4 all over 5. Also, tan is opposite over adjacent. Opposite adjacent, that's 4 over 3. Let us get that for B. Sin B is 4 over 5. So if we are using the same method that we use here, if I place my B here, sin is opposite hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. So here is 4, and here is what? 5. This side will be 3. It's still a Pythagorean triple. 3 squared plus 4 squared will give me 5 squared just like we did here, okay? So, sine B is already 4 over 5. What is cos B? Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Opposite adjacent hypotenuse. That's 3 over 5. So, cos B is 3 all over 5. So, what is tan B? Tan B. 
Tan is opposite over adjacent. Opposite adjacent. Four all over three. Good. So the ratios are complete. Let's now go back and answer the questions. The first one says cos A plus B. Cos A plus B. So using the identity for the cosine of a sum, just like we said earlier, cos A plus B is equal to cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. What is cos A? 3 over 5. 3 all over 5 times what is cos B? 3 over 5 as well. Minus what's sine A? 4 over 5 times what's sine B? 4 over 5. So we have, this is 3 times 3 is 9, all over 25, minus 4 times 4 is 16, all over 5 times 5, 25. The denominators are common, so you take it 25, then 9 minus 16. 9 minus 16 is minus 7, so we have minus 7 all over 25. Now, cos A minus B. Cos A minus B. It says cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. Okay. What's cos A? Cos A is 3 over 5. 3 over 5 times cos B is 3 over 5 as well. 3 all over 5. Plus sine A is 4 over 5. Sine B is 4 over 5. So 4 over 5 times 4 all over 5. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 5 is 25. Plus 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25. The denominators are the same, so we have 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 is 25, okay? So that will be 25, all over 25, which is equal to 1. Sine A plus B. Sine A plus B is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. Sine A is 4 over 5. 4 over 5 times cos B is 3 over 5. Plus cos A is 3 over 5. 3 over 5 times sine B is 4 over 5. 4 all over 5. Good. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 all over 5 times 5 is 25. Plus 3 times 4 is still 12. 5 times 5 is 25. Good. The denominators are the same, so the only same is 25. And because of that, we'll just say 12 plus 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. So the answer is 24 all over 25. What is sine A minus B? Sine A minus B is equal to sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. Sine A is 4 over 5. 4 over 5 times cos B is 3 over 5. Minus cos A is 3 over 5. 3 over 5 times 
sin b is 4 over 5. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 5 is 25. So we have 12 over 25 minus the same 12 over 25 here. And this is equal to what? 0. Sin a minus b is 0. What is tan a plus b? Tan a plus b is equal to tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a times tan b. Okay. Tan a is 4 over 3. Tan b is still 4 over 3. Good. So we have 4 over 3 plus 4 over 3 divided by 1 minus 4 over 3 times 4 over 3. 4 over 3 plus 4 over 3 is 8 all over 3 divided by 1 minus 4 times 4 is 16. 3 times 3 is 9. 8 all over 3 divided by, if I simplify this, 9 times 1 is 9, minus 16 is minus 7. Minus 7 all over 9. Good. So let's break that down. We'll have 8 all over 3 divided by minus 7 all over 9, which will be equal to 8 over 3 times the 9 will go up and the 7 will come down. 3 here is 1, 3 here is 3. 8 times 3 is 24. So this is minus 24 all over what? 7. Turn A minus B. Turn A minus B is turn A minus turn B all divided by 1 plus turn A times turn B. Turn A is 4 over 3. 4 all over 3 minus turn B is still 4 over 3. Oh, it's obvious that the answer is going to be 0. Divided by 1 plus Tan A, which is 4 over 3, times Tan B, which is still 4 over 3. This numerator is equal to 0. So everything here automatically becomes what? 0. So this is it. And so this is how to apply the identities for the sine, cosine, and tangent of a sum and of a difference. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, like, and share the video to your friends and to your classmates.